Hey, what is up, guys? And yes, we're back with the Fiorentina career mode. I actually had another video plan for today, but it wasn't working and it's already late. So I'm like, let's just record another episode. Yes, boys, this is episode 13. We're getting really close to the end of the season. If you guys do go into enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Get notified anytime we do post. I think by now we should have reached 700 subscribers. By the time I'm recording, we're at 698. So we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So make it happen. But anyways, let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and get started. I'm taking a look back at the last episode, we did sim the game against Sassuolo. Picking up a 2-0 victory, beating Roma 1-0 away from home, as well as beating Torino 3-1 away from home with a banger from Hagi. In today's episode, however, we do have Empoli, which we are going to sim. We play against Napoli and we play against Juventus as well. I'm going to look at the fan objectives real quick. I know I usually do player of the episode, but let's let's do fan objectives first, okay? So, as you can see, Gutierrez has completed his fan objective the last episode. So, it's amazing. We have two objectives completed now, obviously, with the European places. We're currently in first place. We're actually top of the league right now, so we're looking good on that. Gaslo really needs, I believe, I'm not looking at him right now. I think he needs three more. Goal contributions and he should be done with it. And Dusan Vlakovic needs five more goals, but obviously he is just coming back from injury. As well as the player of the episode for the last episode, it has to be one man, Ianis Hagi. Not only did he get involved in a couple goals, but he scored the absolute belter. But yeah, boys, as we get on towards the end of the season, make sure to start leaving some suggestions for transfers if you guys would like. Okay, boys, let's take a look at this. Guess who's back from injury? Yes, Dusan Vlakovic has returned. And you know what? I said I was going to give Gutierrez a starting lineup, but no. Dusan does not deserve to be benched. He was in an amazing form. I'm sorry, Gutierrez. You do not deserve to be benched either, but Dusan's better. So, okay, so obviously the first game we're going to play is the same game. Maybe Dusan can score a couple goals there, but yes, Gutierrez, like I said, I do apologize. You've been in amazing form, but we do need Dusan. We started struggling a little bit without Dusan, struggling a little bit more, like just morale-wise. And you guys have noticed we have conceded more goals, but Dusan is back now. As you can see, the moment we have been waiting for months, he has been waiting it for it as well. He's like, I'm feeling much better myself, ready to play. Hope you game by me in the team. Of course, Dusan Vlakovic, you were dominating right before you got injured, so you're going to start today. Okay, boys, first game of the episode, it is going to be a sim versus 19th place Empoli. Should be a pretty routine victory. We're in first place at the moment. I do. Let me just double check. I don't want to get you guys wrong. Yes, we're... Exactly tied with Napoli, but above him goal difference. However, the next game is against Napoli, so we cannot lose that game to Napoli. But, you know what? Let's send this game right away. Vlakovic, please get two goals. That would be amazing. And 3-1 win. Gonzalez with two goals so far. Who, who scored the last one? I can't go up for some reason. Who scored the last one? Okay, Jeremy Pino has scored, and Gonzalez with a double. So, Dusan Vlakovic couldn't score. Oh, it's the right stick. I was kicking the left stick. Okay, yes. Gonzalez picks up a brace, Yermi Pino scoring one go as well. Not a bad start for today's episode. Okay, boys, it's that time of the month as per usual, the Youth Squad Monthly Report. So everybody's looking decent, except with these players. But like I said, I'm going to keep them to May because if their overalls get a high jump, then I'm going to go ahead and put them in the squad. Like I said, I don't care too much about the potential that can be grown. First guy report is from Argentina. Can we get any young times? This is the second month we're in Argentina. Julian Albornoz looking pretty decent, but his overall is not high enough. So I'm not going to take him. He was the only talent, to be honest. Moving on to Greece, please. Let's get another second Kutias. Let's get another one kid from Greece. And boys, absolutely nobody. Again, horrible overall from everyone. And finally, with the Italian league, the homegrown talent. Please tell me we got somebody else. We need some more homegrown talent like Monty. And it looks like we're getting no one. As per usual, this game refuses to give us young talents. Okay, boys. So today's first played game is a very crucial one. Not only is it a top of the table clash against Napoli, who did drop points in the last game. So if we even lose 1-0, we'll probably still stay top of the table. But Dusan Vlakovic's return in a played game. So I'm really excited to use him. Like I said, he needs five or six more goals to finish that objective. I think it's six because he has 14 goals in the league. So I might have to change that in the actual picture. But... It's looking very positive for us. We've been in amazing form. Dusan Vlakovic is back, so the morale should be up. So, no changes to the starting lineup. Let's go ahead and start this game. Okay, boys, I'm really excited to use Dusan Vlakovic once again. It's been a while, boys. It's been a while since we have used them. But like I said, I'm really glad I'm going to be using them in this game and the next game against Juventus, unless he somehow gets injured again. Please, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But, you know what? I'm really excited to use Dusan, so I'm just going to skip this. Okay, boys, Dusan Vlakovic on his return in a played game. I'm hoping he can get at least a goal or two. And this game is lagging. I hope I don't have to restart the game. See man on the ball. Looking for a through ball to Politano. This is going to be a very hard game. I think we did draw to Napoli last time we played them. Because I remember they were top of the league for so long. And we tied to them. So we couldn't catch up to them. So I'm hoping we can better that today and get a victory. Lobotka. Lobotka. Insigne. Insigne finds Luke Shaw. Lobotka back on the ball. Lobotka finds Insigne once again. Insigne is still Insigne. Looking for Aussie man with a shot. Boys, I actually thought I was going in. Oh my god. Osiman has a good shot, but it just goes past the crossbar. And now it's Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi finds Dusan Vlakovic. And now Dusan Vlakovic cuts to his right foot. Dusan, can he get a goal in this game? I really want him to get a goal in this episode because I would celebrate like crazy. Pulgar finds Dusan. And now it's Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi with the rainbow flick. Gets past Yanis Hagi for another one to go. Yanis Hagi, surely. Bro, this kid cannot stop scoring wonder goals, man. 
first the banger in the last episode, then the rainbow flick, and finish over the defender. Pass in the post, bro. Oh, that made no sense. Pass in the post, but Yanis Hagi, bro. Has, he has to be the best player so far in this series, bro. And the best signing as well. I know Kutsias has been amazing. I know Dusan has been amazing. A lot of players have been amazing in this series, but Yanis Hagi is ripping apart the city at this season. Another beautiful goal from him, man. Through ball. And now it's Pulgar. Pulgar, can you win it? Okay, he does win it back. And now it's Araujo. Araujo picks up the ball, finds Yanis Hagi. And now it's Castrovili. Castrovili on the ball. Castrovili looking for through ball. Does find Dusan. Okay, Dusan's gonna hold it. He doesn't have space. It's still Dusan. Gets past one. It's still Dusan. Oh, surely that's a foul from all that pressure from Kulubali, but. Great defending from Kulubali. Great run by Dusan, though. Does find a through ball into Victor Osman. And now it's Victor Osman looking for that. Dries Merchants in the middle. We're not let him cross it. It's Osman. Osman on the ball. Versus Araujo. Cross in. Great clearance. Well, not clearance, but great block by Milenkovic. But Araujo loses the ball now. It's Osman once again. Finds Dries Merchants. Dries Merchants passes it back to Lobolka. Looking for a shot. It's a great shot. It didn't let me switch to the player, man. I promise you I was trying to switch to the player to cover Lobotka, but... We know how this game is, and I'm trying not to get mad at it because I was literally trying to switch to the other player, and it didn't let me. But Lobotka puts him... They put him back in the game, equalizes the game for them. And I'm pretty sure he scored in the last game he played against us. So, Kragno, nothing you can do there, to be fair. I was trying to switch to Milenkovic, but it wouldn't let me at all. I was still selected under number 29, which is Odia Zola. 1-1 one, one now, 33 minutes in. It's going to be a great game, but I'm looking forward for that victory today. Castrovili, finds Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi on the ball now. Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi still on the ball. Yanis Hagi. Again, the magician. He's been amazing in the past couple episodes. It's still Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi with Rubo. It's to Gonzalez. Please find Blue Dusan. Gonzalez. It's to Dusan. Can he finish Dusan Blakovic? And on his return for the first time in a played game. Obviously, he made his return in the same game last game. He has scored a goal. 15 goals for Dusan Blakovic in the lead. Five more goals for him to complete the objective. I told you. Dusan's going to come back and he's going to score right away. He didn't score in the same because it's how the same works. But when I play with him, there's no way I'm not going to score with him. Even though his sharpness is at 30. He's still recovering from that injury. He scored on his left foot. It's another goal for Dusan. It's great to say that once again. Straight away, we take the lead once again. Four minutes after their goal. About to be half time. Surely we need to keep this lead into the second half. Politano finds Mertens. Mertens into Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo through ball. Okay, it's Politano versus Pellegrini. Pellegrini has been an amazing signing as well. Can he win the ball? Pellegrini versus Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo finds Osimhen with a shot. Great block by Cragno. Great block by Araujo as well. It is half time. It is 2-1. We are winning this game so far. Great tackle by Castro really though, but he gives it away. And now it's Lobotka looking for Insigne. He finds Insigne. Insigne looking for a shot. Through ball into Deme. Deme with a shot. And it's 2-2, two, two, boys. No. They have equalized the game once again. Horrible defending by me. We have to make some subs. Okay, boys. You know the usual subs when Dusan plays. We know we have to play with two strikers. We know who has to come on. So... Yanis Hagi is going to move to the center position. I know he's been creative. We're going to put Adam Hozik in that camp position as he can play there. Gonzalez is coming on after an amazing couple games. And Kutsias is coming on. The Magician. Castro really will be playing in that DM position. That way, Kuisans can go ahead and get some game time in that center mid position. Okay, boys. Magician, the golden boy, has come on. Kutsias is ready to win this game. We know in the past, every time he'd come on next to Dusan, he'd score a winner. So, I'm hoping it happens today again. Just to find Vlakovic, but it's a weak pass. And now it's Pellegrini on the ball. Finds Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi does find Hoseg. Hoseg finds Dusan. Dusan on his right foot. Can he finish from there, Dusan? Oh, he is denied by the defenders. 20 more minutes left to go. We need to find a winner, boys. I don't know. I want to draw this game. Does find Castrovili. Castrovili on the ball now. Castrovili passes it back. He gives it away, though. Politano on that run. Oh, no. It's over. It's over. It's Mr. Politano. Politano. Cragno with a great save, bro. This is why we send him, bro. Without him, Drogowski probably would have that. Horrible, horrible mistake from Castro really. He needs to do better, but Gragno does save us. It's Zelensky. Through ball into Politano. Oh no, Pellegrini. Don't lose his battle. It's Politano versus Pellegrini. Just find Di Lorenzo. Pellegrini wins it though. He's not giving up. And now it's Dusan. We have to get on a counter attack and we need a score. It's Hagi. Back into Dusan Vlakovic. And now it's Dusan Vlakovic. Oh, it's worrying because he has low sharpness. It's Dusan though. Dusan keeps the ball. Finds Adam Hosek. It's Adam Hosek on the ball now. It's still Adam Hosek. We're gonna have to dribble. There's no one making a run. Okay, Adam Hosek does find Quisans. Quisans finds Kutsias. Kutsias on the ball now. It's Kutsias. It's still Kutsias. Gets past. It's still Kutsias. Oh, bro. Imagine if you would have took in the defense and scored. Four minutes left to play. Let's at least keep the draw. Please, let's not concede. I still want that winner, but who knows what's going to happen. Through ball to Insigne. Okay, we need to stop Insigne. Insigne is not going to score us. Okay, Insigne. Insigne passes it back. Come on, we need to win it. We need to pick up the ball right now if we want to win. Zelensky. Zelensky in the ball. It's Zelensky. It's still Zelensky. Win the ball. Okay, hold him. Zelensky still in the ball. Zelensky comes back. Clear it out. Clear it out. No, 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 no. A minute left to go. Surely we're not winning, but we cannot lose this game. Great tackle. Clear it out. Okay, can we get a counter attack? Dusan. Oh, of course, the ref never lets us. It is a 2 2 draw. We still remain top of the table. Boys, this game is so stupid. Why doesn't the ref let it play? We could have scored a winner right there, but it's a 2-2 draw. Decent performances. We probably shouldn't have considered both goals, though. Okay, boys, last game of the episode against 6th place Juventus is going to be very difficult. I'm pretty sure last time we did lose, 
As for the lineup, hmm, should we should we change the lineup? No, you know what? This lineup did well. Horrible defending by me, so I need to fix that in today's game. But obviously, Juventus, we know how good they are. Aren't at their best anymore as they used to winning league titles consistently. The City yeah, is a new generation now. That's why I chose to do a team in the City yeah. It's very open this league. So let's go ahead and be Juventus today. Okay, boys. Did I mention this is a rivalry game? So yes, Fiorentina and Juventus are rivals apparently. I searched it up. For some reason, I thought Fiorentina were rivals with Roma, but I guess I was wrong. Apparently, the biggest rivals is Juventus, at least in the city. Yeah. So, it's a derby day. So, we need to make sure we win Dusan, win this game, okay? It would be absolutely emotional for you to come back and win the derby. So, let's go ahead and get started, man. Okay, Dusan picks up the ball early in the game. In the fourth minute, it's still Dusan. Dusan looking for that through ball. Does find Gonzalez, who scored a brace in that first game. It's Gonzalez. Cuts inside. It's Gonzalez. Have a finish shot from there. Gonzalez with a shot. Early save from Chesney. Like I said, we like to... Have a lot of shots in the beginning to pile up the pressure. Bernardeski does find Biragi. Biragi through ball. And now it's Castovili. Castovili picks up the ball. Oh, come on. Okay, Pulgar picks it up now. It's Pulgar. Turns. Does find Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi. Looking for another rainbow flick. And he gets past Yanis Hagi now. Does find Dusan. Oh, come on, Dusan. You got to turn a little bit faster. That is not Yanis Hagi fault. Even though I didn't even have to do the rainbow flick. Ball. Nicolas Pepe. Does find Rabio. Rabio on the ball now. Great tackle by Pellegrini. But they pick it up. And now it's Bernardeski. It's Alvaro. Alvaro, through ball to Bernardeski, back into Alvaro, finds Nicolas Pepe, Nicolas Pepe with a shot, great save by Kragno again, keeping us in the game. Kovic, Castrovilli, and now it's Yanis Hagi, Yanis Hagi, looking right through ball, it's Dusan, 1v1, he's not gonna miss, Dusan never misses, I forgot if he's left or right footed, Dusan on his left foot, and of course he puts it in, no matter what foot he is, he's always gonna put it in, gets his 16th goal this season, second of the episode, this man is coming back with a bang, Dusan Vlahovic, our number 9, man, I've missed him so much, man, but... I, I hate to break it to you guys, but I might sell them in the summer to keep it a little bit realistic and try to make the series a little harder, setting our best pair. That way we can reboot a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think by that, okay? I really want to use Dusan, but if you guys want to see them sold to keep it realistic and reboot the squad, put it down in the description. I mean, in, in the comments. What am I saying? Description. But fear not, Dusan Vlakovic is still our player for the rest of the season, and this man just continues to pop off. Looking for Nicolas Pepe. Finds Morata instead. It's Rabio. He has space. Pellegrini is going to tackle. Okay, no. He clears it out. Yermi Pino right before halftime. Can we get one more goal? Hagi. Let's roll. It's still Hagi. Hagi. Cuts inside. Hagi does find Castrovilli. He's going to let it roll a little bit. And now it's Yermi Pino on the counter attack. It's 1v1 for Yermi Pino. What is he going to do? It's still Yermi Pino. Pino is going to pass it back. It's to Yanis Hagi. Oh, the defender with a great block. And surely the game's, well, the half is going to end 1 0 to us. It's been a great half so far. Hopefully we continue to perform like this because we want to win. Great tackle by Araujo. And now it's Gonzalez. Does find Yanis Hagi. Again, looking for chances. Yanis Hagi through ball to Dusan. Is he going to finish it again? Dusan's going to cut to his left. Dusan finish it from there. Dusan, great block by Mateus Delict. I do believe, man. Bernardeski. Bernardeski on that run once again. It's still Bernardeski. Castrovilli trying to catch up. He's a warrior. He's our captain. He's not going to give up. Bernardeski versus Castrovilli. It's Bernardeski. Finds Biragi. It's wins to McKinney. McKinney. Oh, McKinney into Ventiker. Finds Alvaro. Please don't concede. Nicholas Pepe with a shot. Boys, oh my god, why do we concede to Pepe, bro? It's 1 1, 61 minutes games, 61 minutes played. Oh, we've been playing so well. We need we need to finish our chances, man. But Nicholas Pepe gets through. I, I felt like I was gonna concede from that play. Morata, brilliant through ball. Pellegrini, I should have maybe not tackled. I probably would have won it with him. It's 1 1, but boys, I'm not ready to give up. I want to pick up a victory. I don't want to tie to two giants in this league. Jeremy Pino gets past one, and now still Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino still on the ball. Pino, Pino, Pino. It's still Pino. Finds Odia Zola. Gives it to Castro. Castro Billy finds Yanis Hagi. Hagi into Pulgar. Now it's Dusan. Okay, it's Dusan. Magician man Dusan. It's Dusan on the ball. Find Yanis Hagi. Yanis Hagi looking for the rainbow flick. He does it. Yanis Hagi cuts to your right. He could have shot. But no, boys, we get unlucky here. Okay, Odia Zola picks it up, and now it's Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino does find Dusan. And Dusan on his right foot. He dribbles. He gets past. It's still Dusan. Dusan, who's gonna help him? Dusan cuts back. Tries to find Jeremy Pino, but he still has the ball now. It's still Dusan. Dusan on the ball. Finds Yeremi. It's Yeremi. Finds Yanis Hagi. He's gonna let it roll. It's Yanis Hagi. Looking for that skill. It's still Yanis Hagi. From his right foot. From there. Imagine he scores. Bro. Yanis Hagi. Again looking dangerous, bro. Oh, he can't score from that. It's a very close shot. 20 minutes left to go. I'm gonna make some subs. No Kutsias today. I think it's a little bit too tight. And Kutsias is hit or miss. He's an amazing player. I, I, I can't blame him for that. But we need some creativity on that right hand side. Yeremi Pino has done nothing. Gonzalez has been performing, so Jose is coming on. Oh no, it's Kostic now. Kostic on the ball. It's still Kostic. Kostic coming from the sub. It's Kostic looking for a shot. Great block by Melenkovic, bro. Melenkovic, I'm so glad we kept him. We could have sold him to get a lot of money, but he's been our best defender this season. I gotta admit, even though Araujo's higher rated, Milenkovic has been so crucial to this team. Okay, Hozdek wins it straight from the substitution. What can he create now? It's Adam Hozdek. It's still Hozdek. 
It still holds the keys faster. Come on, one more. Don't lose it, please. Oh, I, I was a little bit too greedy. I should have not knocked it forward one more time. 12 minutes left to go. Please, I don't want, I don't want to tie another game, man. I really don't want to tie another game. Oh, there's Ola wins it, but he gives it away, and now it's Kostic again. Looking dangerous from the substitution. Also, it's Kostic. Kostic on the ball, crossing. Great block by Araujo. Okay, Hosek wins it again. Hosek again wins it from the corner, and now it's Hosek. Still on the ball, Hosek. Who's going to help him out? Come on, somebody help him. He's not fast enough. Okay, it's still Hosek. It's still Hosek. Okay, nobody's tackling him yet. Which show? It's Hosek. It's still Hosek. It's still Hosek. Find a cross right there. Crossing into Dusan. Can he finish? Dusan, he misses the ball, man. How? How does he miss the ball? Gonzalez, though. And now it's Pulgar. Pulgar finds Ian Asagi. Ian Asagi on the ball. Okay, yeah, Asagi, hold it. Castro Willi. Pulgar. Pulgar on the ball. Finds Gonzalez into Dusan. Dusan through ball. Ah, oh, man. No, I think we I think we tied this game. We tied this game because oh, we need to win the ball if we want to win it. Rabio. Finds Diabala. Diabala on the ball. Finds McKinney. McKinney looking for a through ball. Into Kolovsky. We have to defend this last minute. He's going to put one minute up his time. We're going to win the ball. And then I'll let us attack. It's Kostic. Into McKinney with a shot. Kragno with a great save. We have not won this game. We cannot win this game. But if we defend well, we will not lose it. Unless we can quickly clear it out and find Dusan or whoever's up top. Pellegrini clears it out. Ah, oh, no. The game's over. Yeah, the refs blew the whistle. Man, I do not want to draw... We pick up one victory, it was on the sim, against, and then we drew against two tough teams. I mean, I couldn't have predicted it, but I did want to show my dominance in the league by winning at least one. Oh, boys, I know I started a lot. It's been a while since I've commented, but... Dusan Blackovic still makes a fairy tale return. 16 goals now in the league, only four more for that objective to be finished. But we still picked up uh, four, five points out of a possible nine. We're still top of the league, that's all that matters. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button and that sub button. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. Like I said, I had another video planned today, but I just couldn't figure it out and it's already late. I had to record something, so I hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure to leave suggestions down below for transfers as we're getting close to the transfer window. Leave down your suggestions if you didn't on the rewrite that came out yesterday on the next player you guys want us to rewrite and any other suggestions in general for the channel. Make sure to always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy Edgar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and chamos.